Yo, what's good Jets Nation? This is Richie from Jets Media and in this video I want to talk about what's going on with star running back Le'Veon Bell for the New York Jets. Yesterday was his first game back after he was placed on the injured reserve list because he injured his hamstring week one against the Buffalo Bills as you guys know. And after his first game, Le'Veon Bell is going on Twitter and he's liking a bunch of tweets talking about trading him and how he's upset with the offense and upset with Adam Gase and rightfully so Le'Veon Bell has every single right to be upset with this organization right now. Le'Veon Bell actually liked one of my own tweets talking about how they are it's inexcusable on how they're using Le'Veon Bell in the system so in this video I just want to break down all the tweets he liked and talk about what the Jets should do with Le'Veon Bell and how it's really unfortunate for a guy like Le'Veon who's been nothing but a class act all ever since he got to the New York Jets he's always been positive optimistic looking in the the bright side whenever whenever it's a really dark side in times you know last year when he had his name came up in trade deadline he took it like a man to the complete opposite of, as Jamal Adams he understands the business and he's just been nothing but positive you know him as a person and now he's visibly upset with the New York Jets with the way they're using him because last game he is easily the most talented player on this offense and the Jets are not running their offense through him. Le'Veon Bell, why he was so good on the Pittsburgh Steelers, he was a workhorse. The Steelers ran the offense through him. He had 25-30 carries a game, multiple targets in the passing game, five or eight targets at least per game in Pittsburgh. That's why he averaged going into the New York Jets before he got here. He averaged the most scrimmage yards in the history of the NFL. I'm pretty sure it's 129 scrimmage yards per game. He comes to the Jets, it's the opposite. And I do not think it has anything to do with Le'Veon Bell's performance. I think it is strictly with the way he's being used in Adam Gase's system. So let's go into the tweets, right? This is my tweet that I tweeted that Le'Veon Bell liked himself. I said, the usage of Le'Veon Bell is inexcusable. Only one target in the passing game. He's the most talented player on offense and they don't get the ball in his hands enough. Super frustrating that we are wasting the talent of a player like Le'Veon Bell. I pretty much just said that to you guys. So yeah, this is my tweet. Le'Veon Bell obviously saw this and he agrees with me. We paid Le'Veon Bell a ton of money in the offseason. We paid him to transform this offense. Adam Gase is not letting him transform this offense. For him to get one target in the passing game and Frank Gore is running slant routes. Frank Gore is getting nine carries. It's just what is happening. It's Honestly, it's not even that surprising at this point because the New York Jets under Adam Gase has been nothing but a dumpster fire, but this just, just really boils me because how many different players are we talking about that Adam Gase has ruined? I know a lot of people are on different sides of the spectrum of this, but Sam Darnold, in my opinion, has been ruined from Adam Gase. Makai Becton, he's not ruined yet, but for Adam Gase to put him in when he was injured, that is potentially ruining his physical body and his shoulder. That's not good. Uh, Le'Veon Bell, another player that looks like we are wasting his prime. Jamal Adams, he left because he did not like Adam Gase. So, Adam Gase is completely destroying this entire team. Alright, let's get into other uh, tweets that he liked. This tweet's from Connor Hughes and Joe Caparoso on Twitter. Connor Hughes said, Le'Veon Bell, whom the Jets stressed they need to get involved in the passing game this season, had one catch and targeted once. Joe said, Le'Veon Bell had one target in the passing game today, the same amount as Trevon Wesco. Jeff Smith had 11. There's just, you know what I mean? Like, n enough said. That's just inexcusable. Why is Jeff Smith getting 11 targets and Le'Veon Bell's getting one? You know, uh, you guys can answer that for me. This other tweet that mentioned something to do with a trade, Cool Your Jets podcast on Twitter, they commented, like this tweet, Le'Veon Bell, if you think the Jets should fire Adam Gase, I promise I won't tell anyone. And then somebody responded to that tweet. He won't like it, but I know he's tempted. I don't know how Adam Gase could see how much talent Bell has and not run the offense through him. He deserves better. That reply is the one that Le'Veon Bell liked, so he saw that. So obviously, Le'Veon Bell wants Adam Gase gone, just like every other Jets fan, and he's frustrated as all hell, rightfully so. Another tweet that he liked from NYJ Poppy. As much as I hate the idea, the Jets should trade Le'Veon Bell. He's one of the most talented running backs in the NFL, but is not being used right. Gase has an issue with him since day one, and as a bad team has been, Bell's been nothing but a class act and deserves better. Couldn't have said it better myself. For Le'Veon Bell to like this tweet, that means he's open to get traded. And for as a Le'Veon Bell fan, 
I always was a fan of him when he was on the Steelers way before he was, came to the Jets, and that's why I was so excited for him to be a Jet. But to see how they're handling Le'Veon, I really hope we trade him. I hope we trade Le'Veon Bell to a team that uses him properly and go to a contender. Uh, we can get, what, a fourth round pick and I'll be okay. Fifth round pick. You know, his trade value is not going to be up there because his contract and he is up there in age. Um, I think that he has a lot of juice left in the tank, but I do not think there's going to be teams out there desperately trading for a running back that's getting paid so generously at Le'Veon Bell. So, you know, it would be the smart idea to cut Frank Gore. <laughs> Love Frank Gore, future Hall of Famer, but his uh, use on this team is just not letting the young guys get in there. I think we should trade Le'Veon Bell, and that is just because Le'Veon Bell hasn't done anything wrong. It's just for him as a person. Get him out of here. I feel so bad for him. He's, he has nof been nothing but a class act, just like this tweet said, and he deserves better. He deserves better than the New York Jets, and it's so frustrating that any star player that comes here just does not flourish. And our only hope could be Joe Douglas, but... You know, Joe Douglas, obviously, in his first offseason as a New York Jets general manager, a lot of people are criticizing him, which they should. The Jets are on five. They're uncompetitive. But I am a believer in Joe Douglas just because he has a long-term vision that I believe in, and we do not know what that is. So we have to give it time before we evaluate Joe Douglas. The one thing I will say, this little off-topic about Le'Veon Bell, but it's Jets-related, the one thing I disagreed with right when it happened with uh, Joe Douglas' decision was letting wide receiver Robbie Anderson walk out the door. I was the biggest advocate to re-sign him. Look what Robbie Anderson is doing on the Carolina Panthers under Matt Rule and his coaching staff. He's flourishing. He looks like a wide receiver one, and he is really good. Um, but what I would say about that is, would Robbie Anderson be doing that well if he re-signed with the Jets under Adam Gase? I don't know. So right there, that is a definitely a strike on Joe Douglas because I wish Robbie was still here. He had chemistry with Sam Darnold. He was comfortable in the system, even though the system is terrible. But that is a young guy that's uplifting, and he's proving in Carolina that he's way more than just a speedy deep threat, and that's what Adam Gase only utilized him as. He's way more than that. The Carolina Panthers getting creative with him. So yeah, that's my little rant about Robbie Anderson. So yeah, Joe Douglas... I think the smart move would be to trade Le'Veon Bell at the trade deadline. What would you guys think? Do you think the Jets should trade him? Because we're going nowhere right now. We're 0-5. We are on our way to that first pick, if not top three at least. And I think we should trade away any contracts for any draft capital that we can get because we are definitely tanking. <laughs> I don't see us winning any games. So, yeah, this was my little uh, video about Le'Veon Bell liking all these tweets. Should the Jets trade him? Leave a comment down below. Do you guys think the Jets should trade him? What do you think about all this Le'Veon Bell speculation? If Le'Veon Bell's watching this, which I know he's probably not, I wish nothing but the best for you. I'm sorry that you had to come to the Jets, and I know you wanted to turn this organization around and transform this offense and revive your career and show all the doubters that you have a lot of juice left in the tank, and I still believe you do, but I'm sorry that the New York Jets organization won't let that happen, and they're just shelling you off. Does not make any sense whatsoever. Fire Adam Gase, Woody, and Christopher Johnson right now. That does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe for more Jets content. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.